Hey guys, I want to talk about today uh, the news yesterday, which has been, which has come out that RBI does not have any clue as to what exactly they have done. There have been absolutely no research on the decision that they made. And uh, there was a news yesterday on Economic Times about U-turn. So the question that everyone has today is, is RBI going to reverse their decision? Will the ban on cryptocurrency exchange will still continue? And uh, what is going to be the stance, stance for the Supreme Court? And so as for the report that has come out, I mean, RBI has literally agreed that we made a mistake. I mean, they haven't said that they made a mistake, but they what they actually so, uh, what they actually admitted is that yes, we did not do a proper research. We did not do a proper research. We maybe we did not get time to do a research. Uh, there was no committee formed. Uh, so, so it's a mistake from RBI, right? So now the question is, what exactly are they going to do about it? Are they going to reverse it and let the cryptocurrency exchanges continue? Ideally, that should that is what should happen. Because remember, Supreme Court is actually go, is looking into it, and they have a date on 17th of July. So, I mean, it is quite evident for the Supreme Court to actually see that, well, there was not research done by RBI before they actually took out the decision. So this is a proof for the Supreme Court to actually rule out that decision and say that, no, the cryptocurrency exchanges will, should continue, because there is no proper uh, response that you've given, right? So... Hopefully, I think the cryptocurrency exchanges will continue. That's what everybody is hoping. Um, and uh, it looks very, uh, I mean, they are very right. Because if you see, if they would have done the research, they would not do something like this. Now, another interesting thing that I found, which of course was spoken yesterday on the live session, was by Tone Ways. Tone Ways uh, <laughs> took a look at 60 ICOs. These guys were actually uh, discussing... Uh, resistance. Tone? and one thing. So, uh, Indian uh, financial government and regulators, they tend to just do whatever the hell they want. And <laughs> So, what they, Tone Ways mentioned is that the Indian financial authority seems to be doing whatever they want and without actually doing research. And he actually compared Indian economy with the Zimbabwean economy or, yeah, Zimbabwe trillion dollar note. Because the way the things are actually happening in India, if you look at Recently, we had a shortage of cash, and so it was said that they are going to be printing about 500 notes, more of notes. So the things looks very bad uh, from the uh, from the uh, from the Indian authorities right now. You know, uh, not doing proper research on what cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin are, not even talking to other central banks, taking their own decision. Uh, you know, whatever there comes into their mind, and uh, and then on top of that saying that we'll be printing more money. Of course, demonetization in India has failed miserably. So the, the things does not look good for India. So it's really important, I think, that the RBI does some research and comes out with a decision. One of the interesting things that, that I really found is, of course, you would know that Varun Sethi, the one who actually uh, asked for the uh, these informations from RBI, uh, was there on Bloomberg Quint. And this is quite an interesting interview. Uh, us now. Well, thanks so much for joining us on a Bloomberg Quint. I want to start off by asking you what you make of these revelations because you've gotten that response. We have a copy of us over here as well. But it essentially means that there was no research done by the RBI before the ban. Is, isn't it a very, it's a shocking revelation. Uh, so as you can see, I mean, people are going to watch it. I mean, people who are not investing into cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, they are still going to watch it as to what exactly RBI did without any doing a research. Actually, they came out with this verdict. And so, of course, this has gone viral now. This have, I have this retweeted this right now. You can find this on Bloomberg Quint. You're going to go ahead and watch this. This is about uh, one hour of interview. But this, uh, you, the last part, which is about 15, 20 minutes, you will see with Varun Sethi. So go ahead and watch it. And the next one that I want to share, and hopefully, yes, hopefully I, I'm just positive that this RBI decision will not, you know, will uh, will will have to be taken back because there has been no response from the RBI, a proper response. There have been no research, absolutely. And it looks like, guys, that my hate for Ripple continues to grow every day, <laughs> unfortunately. So Ripple CEO has bashed Bitcoin once again, and he mentioned that uh, Bitcoin is not something that can be the world's currency. 
number one currency. Uh, unlike what Steve Wozniak, the co-founder of Steve uh, Apple, said, the Jack Dorsey CEO said, a Twitter CEO said, the Square, you know. And so, lo so many people actually said that Bitcoin is going to be the currency. But of course, the real Ripple CEO is uh, does not agree to the fact. In fact, he tried to compare Ripple with Bitcoin, and he said that. Uh, the Bitcoin takes 45 minutes, the Ripple takes only seconds, so and just imagine who is going to use it. And he has missed the completely point. Uh, the XRP, the Ripple are going to be are used, being used by banks, and we already see how the banks are getting scammier every day. Uh, whereas the Bitcoins are being used by uh, the general public. So there is a huge difference, which um, it's quite shocking that somebody like him is missing the point. Or maybe he's not, he knows everything and still he's trying to just... But I, I'm sure this is not giving, getting, giving, doing anything good for the Ripple as a whole. The, it's, it's, it's the smartest thing you have done is not to have a Bitcoin. Uh, and, you know, he has some Bitcoin, but he's suggesting everyone not to have Bitcoin. Uh, so giving a financial advice right there. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, my hate for Ripple is just going on increasing, guys. Uh, this is what hap this is what is in the news today. Let's see what really happens. I'm quite hopeful that Supreme Court will rule out the decision of RBI and we'll let the exchanges continue. Let's see what happens. Leave your opinion in the comment box below. What do you think is a possibility? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.